I've gone to start my engine to charge my batteries and it won't start. Yeah, so this is the joys of real life being a trader. <laughs> Good morning everyone. I left you in last week's video where I was cruising to get to Norbury Canal Festival and I often get asked how do I fund myself around the waterways so I'm hoping this video will show you one of the ways that I make money living on my boat. So I've made it here to Norbury Canal Festival on the Shops Union Canal and it's over three days this event. It's Saturday, Sunday and Monday. Yeah, so I can't wait. I'm going to show you all how it is because as most of you know, I trade as the pirate boat. I go along the canal, just moor up wherever I am and sell nautical gifts and ice creams. But sometimes I do book a festival, which is this one. <laughs> yeah, so I can't wait to show it you and I do hope you enjoy this video. Oh, our my heart is. The sun is now shining, but this morning when I was setting up, it was absolutely awful. It was raining, got very moist, had all my plastics down, I had to get all my plastics out to cover the shelving. But at the moment now, it's looking lovely. So I've set up all my stuff. I'm just waiting for a few customers now, but it's quite muddy. But the festival vibes here, everyone's in a good mood. So it's all nice. So I just hope I have a good weekend. Fingers crossed, guys, yeah. Oh, so I've just come in to make myself a coffee and it's such a shame, such a washout. The amount of money they spend and time organising these events, it's, it's such a shame. And even the car park now, the car park is getting flooded. Yeah, it's getting very muddy, cars are struggling to get in and out. Oh, British weather, what are you doing? I'm hoping to get round some of the stalls because they make so many handmade items and everything. It's so lovely to go and see them. So I'm going to try and get a little bit round the stalls. Oh, but anyway, I'm going to go back out there now and drum up some trade. I'll <laughs> see you in a minute. So that's the end of day one trading. And it's not been so bad. We had quite a few showers, lots of rain and that, and it's quite muddy. But everyone was here, the good spirits, lots of lovely, friendly people. And I met a load of you viewers of the channel, which was great. So thank you for that. So we've just come into my boatsman's cabin. I'm having a little bit of a nightmare because the weather's crap, so I've not had as much solar as I'd like. And I've gone to start my engine to charge my batteries and it won't start. So when I turn this key, normally the old girl fires up dead loud. But yeah, I'm turning it now and I'm getting nothing. And it's a good job it's happened here whilst I'm at a festival with loads and loads of people about. And when I'm moored in the middle of nowhere on my own, which is what I often like to do. But my friend Nick is coming now and Kevin off another narrowboat nearby and they're going to give me a hand to see if they can fix it. So between the three of us, we had a little bit of a fiddle. <laughs> yeah, trying to work out where the problem is. Was it a flat starter battery? Was it my split relay? Could it be the key start? The thing is, this engine, she's a 1969. Yeah, proper old. She's dead reliable normally. It's just the one thing I'm at a festival, needs to charge my batteries. And But the good thing is I have a Jenny as a backup. So in these situations, I can put my Jenny on and still get my batteries charged because there's not worse than a flat batteries. Especially when you're in the middle of something, is there? Don't be rude. happen and right smack bang in the middle of a festival but it was so lovely for Nikki and Kevin to come round and have a fiddle with me old girl <laughs> yeah I mean we've done loads of tests we've checked it's definitely not the start battery because we've had a multimeter on that and that was 12.8 can be talking all technical and um, we checked the split relay and um, the key start that's definitely working because you can hear it click so we come to the conclusion it's a starter motor i've also contacted my friend richard off the fuel boat to come and have a look because he likes fiddling with old girls <laughs> no i mean you know old engines because them old working boats have got some proper old engines in them 
but this is why it's really important to have a little bit set aside a little bit of a contingency because you never know with a boat something always goes wrong and it's always when you're least expecting it Richard's just fixed me engine yeah. he smacked it with a big hammer <laughs> So as you can hear now, the engine is working. So big shout out to Richard for banging it with the hammer. <laughs> yeah, and for Kevin as well, for going round with the multimeter and testing everything so we knew which bit we needed to fix. But it's not fixed properly, it's just fixed temporarily, but I'll get that fixed in the future. I just wanna show you something though. Right, this, this was a piece I have made by Susie Sue's Creations here at the festival. She makes everything by ribbons. Yeah, she's absolutely brilliant. She makes cards and all that. I'll put a link in here but it's fabulous i absolutely love it so it's going pride and place on my boat just there but i'm gonna go now have a few rums and i'll see you in the morning <laughs> so my heart is it's day two of the festival and it is just it's wet it's very moist soggy and um, I've set up again I've got everything still under plastics I'm in my front yeah I'm coming to you today from the front the bow of the boat yeah and it's just we're just gonna be what it's gonna be isn't it you can't plan the weather unfortunately and it's such a shame with all the hard work that goes into these festivals and people come from all over you know with their boats sometimes it takes people two weeks to get to an event and um, well yeah <laughs> We're still smiling, we're still having a laugh. I had a couple of rums last night because you have to for medicinal purposes. But yeah, we just have to see now today how it turns out. I've not got my pirate hat on yet, I've still got my coat on, but I will be in my garb very, very shortly. <laughs> so, guys, the weather hasn't changed, unfortunately. It was just it's still absolutely hammering it down. Yeah, but look who's come to see us today. It's Jackie. Yeah, I've not seen her since January, so she's come today to join us in this lovely moist uh, Damp, fun. Moist, wet, soggy. Yeah. It's, uh, it's one of those days today, not many people about. Some people have come to see us though, which has been good. Not many sales, unfortunately, <laughs> but all my stuff's wrapped up. I've got my flaps down. Yeah, so this is the joys of real life being a trader. When the weather's good, it's good. But when it's like this, yeah, it's, it's not. <laughs> well, we're still having a laugh. We're still having a laugh. And that's the main thing. My goodness, that is the end of day two. Anyway, let's go and pour a big rum. I'll tell you how it went. Oh. So considering the terrible weather, people still came and spent money, which was fantastic. Mm. Oh, I just need, I've earned this. I really have earned this. Yeah, so it was fabulous to see Jax, but the weather, it has been absolutely appalling. And this is the thing, most of the time for me, I just trade at the side of the canal if it's nice weather. I think I'll open up this weekend or open up for a couple of days. But I'm lucky because I've got my little badge business, which also brings me a bit of income. So, yeah, I'm not reliant just on the trading, which is a good job with weather like this. <laughs> and I just thought I'd tell you a little bit about being a roving trader. You do have to get a business license. You have to apply for all of that. And then you have to get your public liability, your insurance. I have to also have a hygiene. I've got my five-star hygiene plus a hygiene certificate. 
Yeah, so there's quite a lot of rigmarole that all traders go through and there's actually over 500 registered independent roving traders on the canals. Yes, yeah, so there's loads of us so within that 2,000 miles of waterways, you'll find a trader somewhere. There's over 500 of us. Anyway, let's hope the weather's better in the morning. <laughs> it's, it's not, it's early. I know it's early. Have you got a rum in there? Yeah, have you? <laughs> not yet. Not yet. 10 o'clock. See you again. See you later. Yeah. Let me see you. Yeah. Good morning everyone, it's day three of Norbury Festival and it's not raining, no it's dry, it's very muddy still, the rain's left its scar but it's not raining so I've set up in the dry today which has been great and we're just hoping today now some more people come because the rain does put people off so hopefully if we get more people come it'll help us recuperate some of them losses over the last two days, <laughs> Yeah, but it'll be what it'll be won't it? So Norbury Canal Festival has over 20 boats and then there's a few land stalls near the pub and there's also traders this side of the bridge which is where I am. So whilst it's quiet and I've got a friend looking after the stall for 10 minutes I'm going to have a quick run to the land stalls that are near me to see what's going on over there. What I love about these markets is it's all handmade items. But whilst I was having a walk round, I met a lovely lady from the Inland Waterways Association. So these guys here, they're trying to open up some more of this canal, aren't you? That's right, yes. And when they stopped moving stuff commercially, they just filled the canal in, didn't they? And yeah. demolished the lock keeper's cottage, which, you know, is here. Oh, what um, a shame. But we've, the footing, so that's the yeah, footings yeah. of the cottage. And this good lady, Olive, we've got a photo of her because she's still alive, standing in the doorway, if you like. How long is it going to take? Um, possibly getting the basin in water um, within maybe a couple of years. Wow. Um, but, you know, and that will be stage one, if you like. And then the next bit will be cutting through the basin which will be linked to the canal at that point and then down to the river Sow and into Stafford town. Wow wouldn't that be exciting eh? More canals open up. Yes it's only a very small section that needs to be re-dug if right. you like. So these are just some of the land stores at the event everyone's still setting up but it was so lovely to hear about them trying to get that canal reopened and dug out. How amazing. So I need to get back to my boat, hopefully I've got some customers, but these are just a few of the boats on the way back. But there was one stall in particular at this festival that I really loved. Just up there by the pub, which is a rescue centre rehoming for dogs. I'll put the name of it here. And I was just talking to the lady because my friends Rob and Gaz off the boat opposite, I've got two rescue dogs. And the lady came down to talk to me and they've got a few rescues in at the moment. I'd love to rescue a little dog, I really would. Rather than going and buying one, I'd rather give one a good home. And yeah, they might have some dogs in. So whilst I'm here, if that happens, that will be lovely. As most of you know, we lost a little pudding in October last year, which is quite heartbreaking. And I'm sort of ready for another little dog because pudding was 13 and he lived on the boat for eight of his years. And I do half oh, miss him. And it's a great life for a dog on a boat. So hopefully, fingers crossed, talking to this lovely lady from the rescue centre, they may be able to rehome me a little dog. Oh, so we just have to see, just have to see. Yeah, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. That's how I see it. So that's the end of the festival. It's exhausting packing everything away. Everything's all tucked up now in my tug deck, ready for the next one. Yeah, and I've just been for some food and a load of drinks with fellow traders. It's good catching up with your trading pals, it really is. Yeah, but everyone's now, tomorrow's going to go off in their own directions to their own little events and trading spots. But it was so lovely catching up with everyone. They did a little bit of an award ceremony when we were having a drink earlier. And I won this. Look at that. I got a certificate for the tidiest towpath. Yeah, see, told you always keep it nicely trimmed. <laughs> and I also got this from the wharf. It's uh, a mug and it's for uh, Morris's lubricant. See, you got to always keep it lubricated. 
yes i've got them but i also just want to show you this as well besides all these bottles of rum that i got over the weekend so thank you so much to everyone that brought me that I really do appreciate it i got some other gifts and i'm going to show you now i got some gin yeah i'm partial to a nice gin in fact to drink anything but yeah so i've got these gins here loads of little miniature gins so thank you very much for that i also got some brilliant things i've got this which is um a hand knitted neck warmer yeah keep me warm in the winter do it you want with it so i've got that so thank you for taking the time to make me that it's beautiful thank you i also now this is from the boat bare necessities they're now boat traders they brought me some rum but they also made that how cool is that it's made out of slate and they've etched it it's absolutely stunning i love it yeah a little pirate with the red, red bandana i often wear that during the summer so i just love it beautiful thank you very much for that pride and place i also got this now this is amazing i'll put links to all this the lady that gave me maybe this there's a note somewhere where is it i can't find it <laughs> the lady that made me this um it's handmade look at this little h on the uh eye patch it's just that quirk it's brilliant she does these she restores all these dolls she does makes them all i just think that's beautiful that's going to go in my back cabin yeah give rosie a run for money won't it <laughs> yeah but i just love it it's dead quirky i just love all these amazing things and that's made by hand it's just amazing and then this now this was for some subscribers but they bought it off a fellow trading boat so that's fantastic and it's from the trade boat um Gord gordonous crafts i'll put links to these all there but look at that how amazing is that that's just that is just me that's perfect Yes, yeah, so that's handmade it's all carved and a fellow view of the channel bought me that so i just think it's perfect so that'll go pride and place on this boat somewhere as well as my lovely pirate which i showed you earlier yeah handmade by susie sue's creations i absolutely adore that anyway i'm going to pour myself a huge rum and we'll take you in the back cabin and do the ditty but just before we do that let's see the stars of this week's video entrance we're in the boatsman's cabin because we're going to read this week's ditty but just before i do that just want to say a massive thank you to maxine for giving me a hammer yeah if you remember last week i broke my hammer it's a good job i've got that hammer because i need to give my starter motor a good old whack before she starts yeah but i'll get that fixed i know where i'm going to take that i'll take that on my journey in a few weeks time yeah but for now i'm just going to bang it with a hammer anyway we're going to read our ditties are you ready are you sitting comfortably Cheers. Woo! Mm. Now the first one is from Keith Williams and it goes a little something like this. The pirate queen was going grey. Twas plain for all to see. 
It's so unfair to dye your hair at only 23. Fantastic. Thanks, Keith. And then the last one is from Andy. And this just made me titter. It goes, rum, rum, rum. Rum, rum, rum. My rum, bugger off. <laughs> made me howl. So I'm going to leave the video there. I really hope you've enjoyed it. A massive thank you to this week's pirate crew. You really do help me out immensely. And I love the little comments over on that page as well. And also a massive shout out and thank you to my patrons who just help me all the time. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there and keep your fingers crossed for me because hopefully in the future that centre can get me a little rescue. But please take care, everybody. Stay safe and I'll see you next week. Yeah, have you had a good time? Very much so. Because I can't like remember it. most of it. I drank too much beer. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't we all? Arr! Look at that. Wow, proper Devon rum. Thank you so much. Woohoo!